Okay, great. So we've finished the process map. And so what we did is, what I did, there were a few changes I made on the on the later on the later points. There was another decision point here, number thirteen, and so I'll I'll show you how that was added on to the process map. And there was some rearrangement of the of the swim lanes so that there were no crossing over lines, and as you can see, it's a very smooth process map which looks very clear now as to what's going on so it's really easy now to walk through this process with your subject matter expert and and get that feedback and you know make sure if there's something that you're not familiar with you, you're not sure about make sure you call it out there to remind you when you're speaking to your subject matter expert or SME. So let's take a look. So what, we, what I realized is that where they're starting is actually the ACME system. This is the company system that the staff have access to, the employee system that they start with. So that's where they start. That's where they receive the cloud, uh, the cloud storage link. They download the data in the cloud storage. They navigate to the district website. They look at the lists. Is the list updated? If so, they find the, the list of old forests. If not, they generate the report, upload the report to storage, and then both lines converge where they open up these PDFs. And then they convert this, these PDF lists into Excel. And in Excel, they do this process here, consolidating the sheets into one workbook, delete any irrelevant columns, remove any commas. And uh, then they compare the lists, compare the two lists, do the names match. If yes, separate districts by column. If no, compare the generated data, create a report, whatever the outcome, create a report, and then upload it back to the cloud storage, and then you're finished. Okay. You'll be able to find this map in the resources, in the resources section. Download that, have a look at that, have a look at this map and compare it to your map just see where you went wrong. And if you have any questions, put it up on the board and I or someone from the community will answer that question. Okay, great. So that's all sorted. You may want to go through your process map and color coordinate start and the finish uh, boxes. You, uh, you may see online that some people use uh, purple for the diamonds um, and, and another color blue generally for the decisions for the uh, for the tasks great so that's all sorted so now we've created our process map using the work instructions now we're going to go to the next subject which is the business case